whispering because she'll hear us. Who is she? Shh. Welcome to Apex Adjacent. This is a car show and we're going to whisper the whole time. What listeners don't know is that Ian and I are under a blanket with a flashlight. (laughs) (laughs) What it feels like. Uh, Hello, greetings, salutations, thus and so. Uh, So we are, my family and I, in a in a furnished apartment, which is not our house because our house is under construction. Uh, and we were greeted in this apartment complex. So this is mostly condos, and we okay. are we are short term renters in this condo complex. Mm, you're one um, of by those. Our, <laughs> mm-hmm, by our upstairs neighbor. Now it seems that this condo complex has a very, let's say. Uh, involved HOA (laughs) and um, we were moving in and she popped by to uh, make sure. And uh, I'm not paraphrasing. These were her words that we were aware of all the rules and regulations because I work because she works from home is what she said to us. And then she glared at our children oh okay okay and immediately i was like well i'm gonna get kicked out of this condo i guess like, that's what's <laughs> yeah. gonna happen next and jenny was like they're in school yeah you'll be fine and so like my charity level for this individual has right is starting at rock bottom right yeah 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 right coming in low like you can't make a worse first impression to you yes you you had a better first impression from the guy that was hallucinating an imaginary dog in your car and taking a rock to the window of your r32 you had a better first impression of that person than this now if i have any complaint of complaints about my own children it's that they are way too fucking loud (laughs) however that is for me to say exactly not for you stranger yep Yep. Uh-huh. Keep that shit to yourself. Yeah. Uh, well, we came home to a note. Oh, no. On the door. Um, same neighbor. Asking, letting us know that she has very severe asthma. And so requesting that we stop smoking in the unit. <laughs> now. <laughs> I smoke and I'm fairly certain my six <laughs> also does not smoke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, repeat that. You're fairly certain who doesn't smoke? Our six-year-old does not smoke. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yes. Fairly uh-huh. certain. Fairly okay. Certain. But man, it's all just like, and and now pieces are coming together because we've seen other post-it notes on other doors in the hallway oh. in the same handwriting. Yeah, yeah. We've got a note writer. We've got you a do. passive aggressive. Passive aggressive note writer. Note writer. I wonder why that apartment was vacant that you were able to snap up Ian. Oh my God. I just, yeah. Yeah. June can't come fast enough, apparently. Yeah. I was just like, so I went upstairs and I knocked on her door. Uh huh. And I was like, hey, I. Jenny was like, you have to say, sorry, that's happening. Like you have to say, sorry, that's happening. That's how you, I, that's how you have to open this conversation. Oh, okay. Okay. Cause she was saying that she got like whiffs of smoke. Oh, okay. She was getting smoke in her apartment windows, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay. And I, so I started with, I'm sorry, that's happening. Okay. Uh huh. And then, and then that was the end of my pleasantries. And I was just like, neither of us smoke. Don't know right. what to tell you. Yeah. And she was like, Oh, well, thank you for coming up. You know, we've been having so much trouble with the street people. Oh no. She she looked around and said street people. Yep. That's a, that's a white person move. That's a white person move. They're about to say some dumb shit and they look around to make sure that they can be racist to you, you know, or say something inappropriate to you. And she goes, we've been having trouble with the street people. Did you hear them last night? And I was just like, and I did my best, like withering. No, 
<laughs> That's how I said. No. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh-huh. I was like, "Have a great day." And I yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, it seems like this is a person that is like trying to trap you in conversation, and yeah. you, and I'm I just feel like <laughs> not going to have it. Not I having mean, it. I feel like you in those situations, you're like that children's toy that like you try to catch and slips out of your hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, no, you you can't hold Ian hostage with conversation. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause, because I feel like she's given me permission to kind of be a, a little bit of a dick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. I get trapped in my Midwestern, very overly nice. I'll be polite to the person punching me in the face. Right. But right. She started off insulting my kids. And so now I'm like, well, yeah, all that's are off lady. You're getting, right. you're getting id. Yeah. Ian now. <laughs> we're, we're taking the kids to the school in the R32 every day, just so you can cold start it. Which I'm going to push it <laughs> under her window. Yes. Back it in and then uh, cold start it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the great uh-huh. idea. All while smoking a carton of cigarettes. <laughs> I told Jenny I was going to go buy cigarettes and just light them on the patio. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Three people. Yeah. You know, I don't have any way to tie this to cars or anything. I just that's this is no. I just wanted to complain. No, I get it. I get it. I think that there is a there's a lot to unpack with this individual, right? And mm-hmm. I think that. Oftentimes we encounter those people that, uh, that come to us with preconceived notions. They just like throw something on us. I mean, shit teams, noise canceling is a thing lady. So fucking deal with it. Yeah. yeah. My, my coworker and I, like <laughs> we, uh, he has a, a, like a little bathroom right around from where he normally works during the day. And he was uh-huh. like, Hey, does teams like cancel out this toilet flush? <laughs> like, it's, we're on teams checking to make sure like teams noise canceling, cancel it, cancel out the flush. It did. It you did. Gotta, you got to test that in a safe space. So yeah, like- exactly. Or at least I led him to believe it cancels out. <laughs> yes. Yes. yeah oh no. i do my license plate game ties into this actually I'm oh sorry. does it okay yeah 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 sure yeah my my license plate game is called we must insist on good vibes only oh okay all right we must insist on good vibes only okay yes mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. yes all right yeah my, mandated these are good vibes yeah these are people license plates with open arms open okay. arms for you Okay. Okay. All right. To counteract yeah, my negative energy about my nosy neighbor. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Let's band aid this thing. Let's freaking get into it, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. License plate game. Here we go. All right. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So up top, we have a white Hyundai Palisade. Uh, then we have a conversion van in the like silver and blue with the roof boxes and the camper roof and all that stuff. Yep. And then is that a, a Porsche Macan? It is there? a Macan. A Macan. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Ah. Oh, wow. These plates are a lot. Okay. They are. All right. So Almost too much, one would say. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one says all love. A-L-L-L-O-V-E. Okay. Sure. Hippy dippy. Go for it. Cool. Mm-hmm. The second one says men cry. I mean, Yeah. I teared up listening to an Aphex twin song yesterday morning, a piano cover of, of uh, four. So yeah, men cry. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, and then lastly, uh, are you okay? R the letter R the letter U. Okay. Are you okay? No, no. none of us no. are. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at least. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Oh, wow. Ian, these are some good ones. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, the the conversion van is going to have the most zoomies and enhances. So I think we're going to start with the Palisade and just kind of take a look. We've got a we've got a Carvana license plate. Huh, okay, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, and the Macan. That's really just a black license plate frame and nothing fancy. Some window tint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really it. it. Looks fairly stock. Yeah, and then the. Then the uh, conversion van. Okay, so we've got, oh yeah, like a, a bunch of national park stickers and solar uh, panel on the roof. 
Oh yeah. Thank you. Good call out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, some cycling stuff. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Celebrate diversity. Uh, like a, um, a, a, uh, a thing of like a beer flight, uh, in different yep. types of beer in, uh, pride colors. Okay. Vote the assholes out. Yeah, sure. Yep. I'm into that. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's see here. Okay. Huh. All love men cry. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So I think I want to put, I think I want to put all love on the conversion van. Okay. That one's kind of given me the most like lovey vibes. It's between that and men cry, I think, because I, th I feel like that one is like, is, is, is opening arms versus like the Macan that's like, are you okay? You know, mm -hmm. like, okay. I, I mean, not the, not the, not the Macan, but like a plate that says like, are you, are you okay? Like I hear yeah. it in that voice instead okay. of like, Hey, are you okay? Oh, all right. Okay. All right. How did, yeah. how did you read it? I mean, at the time I was definitely very harried and when I took it and was a little like, you know, it was like an hour, like whatever, 16 of a really long day. Okay. And so I took it as a personal attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I took it. Okay. Okay. So I probably sort of shouldn't ask you because I don't want to, like, I don't want to get a scenario in which the picture was taken. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I get it. Okay. Huh. I feel like the Palisades of Wild card here, man. I feel like it's going to be, well, first of all, they're a ship parker. Yeah. I was going to say, I wonder, I always wonder like how much, if we read too much into the parking quality. Yeah. You know, yeah. of some of these cars. Because I feel like we really lean on that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I feel like the Palisade is men cry. I don't know why. I feel like that's like, there's obviously a lot to unpack here. And I feel like for some reason, even though the person that I know that we know that has a Kia Telluride, you know, sister, you know, sibling vehicle, uh, they, they're not this kind of person that just comes at you with a bunch of weird stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I feel like for some reason I'm getting like, I'm getting big HOA energy, like big, like big, I want to talk to you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Energy from this, from this Palisade. And I want to put Ming Cry on it. Then okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go all love on the, on the van. But then maybe the Porsche is like, then maybe the Porsche McCann's like a, like a, a lawyer that listens to Bob Marley and they want, <laughs> They were like, I'm cool kids. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, um, Amy Poehler and mean girls. Right. Mm -hmm. Steve yeah. Buscemi. Hello uh -huh. fellow kids. Yeah. yeah. Hello fellow kids. So I feel like that's a factor. I'm in my own head for this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We're going, are you okay on the Macan? We're going men cry on the Telluride and we're going, all love on the van. Okay. Okay. I don't know about that. Okay. All right. I th Here. think you're going to be disappointed. I have a feeling I will. Okay. Because you got all of them wrong. <laughs> I did. Oh my God. Okay. Men cry. It's on the but van. You, were, you had it. I think with the, the all lo like the, the Rasta, the Rasta <sighs> lawyer. See, I think he had it. You were there. I was. And then I backed away from it. Ian. what the hell? And I think, are you okay with the shit parking? Yeah. 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 It, oh man. Okay. Yeah. God, these are good plates. Damn it. Trust your gut. Everybody. That's the moral mm -hmm. of the story. Trust yeah. your gut. Yeah. Well, and Ian, also men cry as the van told us. I saw <laughs> all of these. <laughs> nice, nice. I was so excited about Men Cry. <laughs> that is a wild plate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, 
Yeah. Oh, they got the deadhead sticker. Oh man. Yeah. I it, was don't know. A, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. Cause it, it you know, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. There yeah, wasn't I, any context clues for men cry. I don't, I don't think. No, but you get a pretty, a pretty interesting idea of how complex this individual is. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's a lot of yeah. layers here. But I would say it's not often that uh, a, a plate makes me want to talk to a person. Right. I'm okay. interested in talking to this person. Okay. Okay. Don't you think yeah. there's, there's things happening there? Yeah. I, I think I might need to talk to them just to kind of like confirm the vibe. Right. Like right before you're allowed. Yes. I yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 You, can, you can do the vibe check <laughs> yeah. for me and yeah. then I can go ahead. Yeah, and then like I just walk away from them while they're just mid sentence. You're just like, <laughs> yeah, abort, abort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, are you okay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I, man, I don't know. Some of these people. Hey, at least it's not some license plate like we saw that Jesse said that saw, or sent that was like on my way to fuck your girl or whatever. You know, Jesus. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. Well, yeah. Thank you, Ian. That was a wild ride, buddy. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Um, uh, what else should we listen to? What else should we listen to? What else should we uh, should we talk about? I, Ian, I mean, there is a period of time, like, so I'm going to show you something that our buddy Peta FaceTimed okay. me over today. Okay. Oh, it was so urgent he FaceTimed you. Well, I was wondering if it was a butt dial or a actual FaceTime. And okay. so I I was uh actually uh uh like doing joint compound on sheetrock and mm. uh picked up and it was a legitimate call for good reason, Ian. So I want you to to take note because there is this period of your life before you have seen the pictures that PETA sent. And then there will be after, and you will okay. be a different person. Okay. Okay. Ian, I, I don't know if there's any other way to say this, but you're about to have a new hero. You just are right. Okay. Okay. All right. Ian, let me make sure, let me make sure this is the right one. Yeah. Okay. Ian, feast your eyes on th- this, that Peter saw up where he lives in the mountains Whoa. Yeah. Ian, That's a you're, legit Diablo. You're looking at a 1995 Lamborghini Diablo in like crazy pearl yellow. Yeah. Wow. And it looks um it looks like it's in really good shape. It is sparkling, <clears throat> Ian. Yeah. Yeah. There's so I said this. Oh my god, what? Yeah, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, go ahead. Say what you were going to say because there's I I didn't notice the skis. There's more to this. Go ahead. Say what you were going to say. Yeah, I was going to say. So when I was on the Bid Nerds podcast, oh yeah, yeah, I they had they talked through a Diablo is a purple one. I think this is a better color to be honest. Yeah. Um, but they, uh, I, I said there, and I stand by it that my hot take is that the Diablo is better looking than the Countach. Yes. I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, the Diablo is my favorite Lamborghini hands down. Really? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Favorite Lamborghini. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to like the post VW merger Lamber, uh, Diablo more. I think I like this one more like the pre merger. It looks one. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me pull up like the, like it was like a 1999 Diablo, mm-hmm. I think was like the um, the the post merger yeah. one, right? Yeah, uh, lost the pop up headlights and yeah, yeah. Um, what was the last year they made the Diablo? Um, it's around then. It's pretty close to that, right? Yeah. R G H I N I. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You were doing it. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, like the S. Oh, this this one here. Yeah, like right. Yeah, that almost looks like a Murcielago. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I used to like that one more, but I think I, looking back, I think I really like the one that PETA saw more. Yeah. It looks great. Ian, you're not ready for this because there's no, <clears throat> besides there being skis, PETA okay. said that it snowed this morning up there. So this person is driving this, you know, they're driving Amazing. it. Okay. okay. Okay, so th- this is this isn't it. You'll know it when you see it. But here's Peta next to it for scale. How effing low these cars? Oh are. yeah, it, they're crazy. Yeah, so Peta's like six three, I think. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's tall, right? And this, I mean, barely comes over his belt line. Ian, it's on temporary plates. It has temp tags, Ian. <laughs> it has temp tags. Oh my God! From yeah, what state? I don't know. I don't know. But huh? Yeah, this person is a hero driving a Lamborghini Diablo on temp tags in the Colorado mountains. That is pretty impressive, right? Look how freaking clean this thing is, man! It's amazing. I wonder if maybe they like bought it in California or taking it back east or something and were like, well, let's stop and ski on the way home. Maybe. Be- wow. Yeah. Whatever the story is, this is pretty impressive. Right? <clears throat> yeah. I should explain too. I mean, for people who don't live here, I mean, it, it is April, but it, it is still very much ski season in the mountains. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and it's, we still get winter storms up through June. Yeah. Uh, so, and you have to, by law, still have winter tires on your vehicles. Yep. Um, I don't think that this is in compliance with the traction laws. Nope. But, <laughs> but still. Yeah. Salute. Absolute salute. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah. Look at the snow in the background, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here's That's stuff from wild. the stuff that fell this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly where this is. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I go to that cafe all the time. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So thank you, PETA. PETA was like, you had the best reaction. All you did was say, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. That's (laughs) amazing. Look how clean that is. I know. Yeah, he he FaceTimed me while he was standing near it. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. And then, like, that after he and Alita left, there were two other people that came over that were standing near it and taking pictures and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you, PETA, because seeing a Lamborghini Diablo is one thing, right? I mean, that's awesome. Seeing it in the mountains with a pair of skis in the passenger seat, that's a whole other layer. And then seeing it with the temp tags and in such insane condition. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Right? This uh, little interaction is reminding me, we did get a piece of listener feedback recently. Oh, really? Okay. On the Instagram. Okay, sure. Um, Zach uh, sent me uh, an IM on Instagram. Okay. And said, hands down, best podcast about guys saying, yeah, (laughs) you also talk about cars. And I responded, we say, yeah, so much. (laughs) We do. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, like uh nailed us. Nailed us, Zach. <laughs> Pinned to the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you, Zach. Yep. Yeah. It's called a vocal tick. <laughs> and when you don't know what to fill the space with, that's what your mind goes to. And when both of us have the same one, woo! <laughs> I, I would have to say we're a pretty agreeable bunch, right? Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. Yeah. For sure. And now you and I are both trying to say not say it so hard right now. So hard. <laughs> so I'm trying so hard. Okay. I'm going to try to not say it for the rest of the episode. Okay. I think that's a great, that is a great goal. Can we do it? Nope. <laughs> it's just like another 30 minutes of silence and us just, just showing the air. picture of the Lamborghini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I just said it right then. Yeah. And I just said it then. Yeah. We suck. Yeah. We do. Nailed us. <laughs> so thanks for that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, 
you, we were on another podcast and uh, oh, yeah. you've been mixing it up with their listeners. I have. Yeah. So we were, we were guests on the Flag Time podcast. We had a fantastic time. You've heard us talk about the Flag Time folks before. Absolutely. Subscribe to their podcast. Listen to their Patreon. They're hilarious. They're great. They had Mr. Regular on on the episode, uh, like one or two episodes before us. Awesome episode. They talked to him for like two hours. It was great. He talked a lot about um, rural Pennsylvania and like his upbringing there and just like the like you get a very complete picture of uh, Brian and um, a lot of kind of the connective tissue of who he is as an individual and and uh, kind of the motivations for the car content that he makes. And nice. yeah, it was it was a great, great episode. And so if you yeah, if you like our show, you're going to like flag time. And yeah, they're they're three delightful goofballs. And when you guest on their show, uh, you get access to their discord that their Patreon folks are on. And so I've been chopping it up with some of their folks on uh, some of the listeners. And so we in they asked us what kind of cars we like. You mm-hmm. said that you're you're really into station wagons now because you have kids, right? So one of their uh, one of their regular listeners, uh, Sports Cars of Sumas, is their username. They're really funny. They said, um, "I'm very into station wagons right now because I have children. My brother in Christ, station wagons are an excellent place for making those." It's true. And it's true. so, yeah, right. I it's said a one it, stop. It's the it's, it's a nice solution because it it's good for making and then transporting. Right, right. Yeah. I said, if anyone can let us know which manufacturer makes the best roadside emergency toolkit that also works as a sex pillow, we'd appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm doing you proud, Ian. On the <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's and very then, funny. Uh, Police four two eight. Uh, another one of the regulars said. Um, 100% Mercedes Benz. That thing looks comfy as heck. And then, I mean, honestly, uh, the one that came in your Lexus. Right? Yeah. Or the one in the Infinity. Is that, that one? That's what I'm thinking of. You yeah. Big, that yeah. big one in the Infinity. Right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Velcro yeah. on the bottom so it doesn't move around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then look at this. He said uh, BMW is a close second. Look at that. And he said Audi has a hard case. Um, so, yeah. 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 And that second one, I think, is my favorite. And I said, ooh, sm- snap, smash cut to me filling that with taffy and azo for post-coital snacks. <laughs> and if you don't know what azo is, you should probably learn. Yeah, yeah you probably should. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. That's um, really funny. Yeah, so hop on over to, uh, to Fly uh, Town. How, have their, uh, how, is, how is the reaction to our... Because I don't think we've ever been on a, a show that had like a Discord before. Like how... Have we been well received? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh, I think good. so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice people on here. Yeah. And it was great because I think like I, I got a good vibe of their listeners being on here because um, like one of them was uh, being very open and honest about them having like a really tough day and uh, and people on here being encouraging and talking them through it, um, you know, like and just like, you know, being supportive. Uh, and then uh, somebody was talking about uh, uh, missing a a. a pet that they loved very uh very much and uh yeah and just you know like really nice like uh just nice folks yeah so yeah yeah great drop that men cry uh license plate in there and it'll be all right yeah yeah so yep i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it to yep yeah yep Would, would you rather me be a yeah guy or a yep guy Ooh, yeah i think because yeah. yep is more great because it's just like a hard sound. Yeah. The p- yep. Yeah. The yeah. pulse of P. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll just be an okay guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> or if you listen to the Doughboys podcast, wow. Wow. They say wow all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. That's I've had lot. Taco Bell. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. What else we got tonight, Ian? Uh, I have an album. Oh yeah, you do, buddy. And then uh, you you like a podcast, or is that what we just did? That's what. We, oh no, yeah. Uh, that one is different than what we just talked about on the uh, for the Flag Time Discord. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Um, you want me to do the album first? I would love it. Okay. I am missing my records already. Mm. And so I did the little shaky shake on the discogs and man, it really delivered because it, it popped up uh, an album that I really like because it's, you know, like you see a movie by like, um, I'm trying to remember which Coen brothers movie it was. But like, there's some like Coen Brothers movies where it's just like, oh man, I'm just it's very Coen Brothersy, and I'm like hanging out with the Coen Brothers now. Yes, it just feels immediately comfy. Yep, and like Immersed. there's albums that, are, yeah, there's albums that are like that where like, oh, this is this band like mm-hmm. to a T, and it's You're just like you feel it. like I'm hanging out with them. Yeah, and this is one of those albums, uh, um, Forgiveness Rock Record by Broken Social Scene. Okay. It was the first thing that popped up when I did my little random record for my collection. Okay. I am not familiar. Uh, it's just a delightful, let's spend time with Broken Social Scene from okay. 2010, I think, 2011, yeah, 2010. 2010. You got it. Yeah. Um, I have very fond memories of this, actually a car-related memory. I listened to this with my friend Kevin driving down to South by Southwest from Oklahoma city down to Austin in the R32. Cause I had just, just gotten it not that long before, maybe a, just under a year before. Okay. Before that, in like 2011. And we listened to this like the whole way down and it was great. Oh, um, nice. And I scared the living shit out of him for the entire drive because we were racing to get to the registration booth before they closed. <laughs> And we I had a hard it. time believing that you were trying to get to that before it closed. Yeah. Because <laughs> we wouldn't have, we would have been able to go to no parties that night. Mm-hmm. And then we would have had to wait. We would have missed the first screening in the morning. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, we gotta, we gotta make good time. And I was like, Oh man, I was born for this. Yeah. Yeah. Close you your don't eyes. know what you just asked of me, but <laughs> Ian, aka Winston Wolf, showed up. Yeah. yeah. And we um, made it. I'm sure you it. did. Yeah. 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 Never seen someone <laughs> so scared in my life. <laughs> Do you have a theoretical top speed that you hit when you were in Mexico on that portion mm. of the trip? Ooh, yeah. I think that uh, when I played Forza, and did that route. Yes. There wink, you go. Wink, okay. Right. Yes. Uh, well, I would never do this on a public road. I, we definitely hit 120 several times. <laughs> for Long stretches of I 35. When you were co-oping Forza horizon. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would assume that there's some pretty boring, uh, chunks of asphalt between there. Not as much as you would think. Cause it's really? Dallas. I mean, you're going through Dallas. So oh, like, okay. Yeah. That's a um, metro area. Like, I don't know. Yeah. That's so sprawling. Yeah. So sprawling. The world's largest suburb, that city. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I have very fond memories of this record and it's, it's uh holds a special place in my heart. It's not my favorite broken social scene record, but it is a really, really good. I like that. I like that. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a lot of those albums where it's like, Yeah. I, I don't like this one the most. Yeah, this isn't necessarily my go-to, but there is something special attached to that one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes even just a, a band, one album from a band in a moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think I, I'm like that kind of with um, that live show that Pearl Jam did from Atlanta way back in the day. You know, I'm not a hmm. huge Pearl Jam fan. Yeah, I, I would have, not have guessed that. Yeah. I, I really liked them when grunge popped up i was like oh this is a great thing you know Mm -hmm. this is all before i discovered the bleep bloops right um you know yeah i loved nirvana and loved uh, pearl jam and stuff and soundgarden and uh they did that live i think it was from atlanta that they eventually put out as like a three disc set and uh driving around in uh my friend josh's ford ranger pick them pick them up truck yeah, nice. I can I can remember like the exit that we were on in Kansas City off of Vivian Road. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, right on, man. That's awesome. That's really cool. That I love those memories attached to albums like that. Yeah. Nice, yeah. buddy. Okay. Um you wanna finish us finish us off with 
Dave likes a podcast. Yeah, this is this is another music related thing, and uh, and a little bit cars. So, I I have a complicated relationship with Frank Ocean. I really like Frank Ocean's music. Right, you know that about me. I, yep. Yeah. Right. Nostalgia From Ultra. What? Been in since day one. Love it. Mm-hmm. Um, really gravitated towards Blonde. Really like that album. Feel really weird about his whole Coachella thing. So you know, yeah. Well, there's that. Right. Yeah. Also, yeah. They, I don't know. A- anyway, so um, I'm listening to a podcast called Dissect, um, mm-hmm. and there's 12 seasons of it. Uh, it is a serialized music po- podcast. It's on Spotify and all the other um, podcast platforms. But they, he spins one, it, the guy, his name is Cole something. I can't remember the host's last name. Um, he spins an entire season usually on an artist. And season three is Frank Ocean. And okay. I am devouring this show. The latest season is MF Doom. He's done Kendrick Lamar, uh, Tyler, the creator. Um, uh, oh, uh, Mac Miller. Uh, so certainly kind of more focused on like the hip hop stuff, but yeah, Kendrick, he's done one about Kanye. I think two well, yeah, about I see Kanye. in the, the description there that you had the, that, um, he's done one on, they've done one on Yeezus, which yeah is number one, my very, very favorite Kanye record. And I, it is a record that I love. Yeah. Um, cause it is so like abrasive and yeah. crazy. Yeah. Dissonant. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> it it is made that way for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So check out Dissect. I, I, I love Frank Ocean. It's a great, it's a great season. Um, he did a se- whole season about Radiohead. Um, oh, in, I think specifically in Rainbows. Um, oh, man. Best, yeah. best album of the last uh, 25 years, I would say. Yeah. For me, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly up there, right? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But Very cool. Yeah. I'll check that out. Yeah. Dissect podcast. Yeah. And so if that lines up with like the music that you like, um, it's, it's great. Yeah. He, he does a lot of like musical theory, but like, I don't know anything about music. So, so it's very approachable. So right. if you're like into music theory and stuff like that already, it, it might be, you know, you might want to fast forward through some stuff, but it, it gives me a new way to appreciate like um, Frank Ocean and, and the music that I, I really love. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So there you go, man. man. That, looks, that looks awesome. It's a it's a great show. Super well produced. It's it, it, this is another thing. It's the only show I I can listen to at one time speed. Like normally I I listened at like one point seven five or two depending on the uh-huh. show. But I have to listen to it at one speed because I want to hear the songs as they should be. Right. right. I don't want to hear sped up Frank Ocean. That kind of defeats the whole fucking purpose of Frank Ocean. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. When you take a moody slow. Dude, you know, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, dissect pod, check it out. Yeah. Nice. But there you go. Yeah. Well, Dave, did we done do a car show? I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Um everybody, we're on the socials things apex adjacent 720-515-1391 to text us or call us or whatever you want to do with that number uh put it on a bathroom <laughs> stall someplace uh uh-huh, for, for a mediocre time <laughs> <laughs> for a disappointing time uh-huh thank you we love you goodbye yeah 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 <laughs>